So you started shooting D-Log videos on your DJI drone. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to color grade and color correct your D-Log or flat profile videos that you record on your DJI drone, specifically the DJI Air 2S. The DJI Air 2S has a one inch sensor which is able to capture D-Log footages in a 10-bit color codec. I'm gonna show you guys how to color grade and correct this video. Let's go. guys so here I am in Premiere Pro and I'm using a Windows machine running Windows 11 and I am currently using Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. Now the first step you want to take when color grading your videos is to drag an adjustment layer put it on top. I have three clips right here all laid out on my timeline. They are 15 seconds in total length. This was from one of my recent trips to Pelican Bar that's off the coast of St. Elizabeth in Jamaica. You can take a visit there if you're in Jamaica by chance. Now, I dragged my adjustment layer on top of the first clip. This is the first clip I will be editing. And let me go up here and go over to color in my workspace area. Now, for my color, I wanna open up my Lumetri scopes over here. And I always have my RGB channels showing my highlights and shadows panel showing right here and my vector scope. These help me to get a feel of whether or not I am properly exposing and saturating my clips when I'm color grading and color correcting. So you guys can add these three scopes when editing to help you better grade and correct your footages when converting from log profile to rec 709 now as i said earlier the first thing i'm going to drag and drop an adjustment layer then i'm going to rename this adjustment layer because this adjustment layer is what i will be adding my conversion lot rename it to conversion lot now i'm going to go over to lumetri color over here and i'm going to click basic correction on the menu over here go on input lot browse and I'm gonna go to my folder where I have my lot downloaded and I'm gonna select the lot which should be added to convert this D-log file to Rec 709 and click open and right away you will see some magic happening now this conversion lot has converted your video to make it look as how it would look if you were shooting in normal or natural mode on your drone and it has corrected the colors so it don't look desaturated and washed out as it did before but it still needs work it's a bit tad bit overexposed and the colors are still a bit too pale so let's go to work the second thing to do is to correct your exposure now by doing this if you're looking here it's a bit too much in the highlight region so i'm gonna pull down my highlight a tad bit and the shadows it needs some more shadows it's lacking shadows if you guys look closely at the shadowy areas over here also i'm gonna pull down my blacks a bit and when i say pull down i mean to the left which will intensify the black so in other words let me intensify my blacks by pulling them to the left i'm gonna decrease my white by pulling it to the left so to increase white you pull to the right and to decrease white you pull to the left it's the opposite for blacks and shadows if you pull to the left you increase blacks pull to the right you decrease black so go to the left if you want to increase blacks to the right if you want to decrease black and it's the opposite for whites and highlights the next thing I want to do is to bump up my contrast a little bit to emphasize some more on my shadows and my highlights so i'm gonna put my contrast to about 25 there about and nice the video is coming to life look at it it's looking lovely as is right now but we're gonna add some more finishing touches the next thing i'm gonna do is go down to color wheels and match and here i'm gonna pull down my mid-tones a tad bit pull down the highlights and also pull down the shadows just a tad bit. And that there is the end of 
fixing your exposure the next step we're going to take is to correct your colors now for that I'm gonna go ahead and put another adjustment layer on top of the conversion LUT adjustment layer we just drag and dropped now we're gonna rename this adjustment layer to color correction and then we're gonna go down to curves so a key point to note guys is that color grading is not the same thing as color correction color correction is correcting the exposure and colors of your video such as the white balance your shadows your blacks your whites and highlights while color grading is adding your creative touch to the video and the first thing we're going to do on the rgb curve right here keep it on the white let's put a dot right there and the next one right up here and we're going to pull this one down here down a little bit and you're gonna pay attention to your vector scope over here to ensure that it's not touching the zero line too much or the 100 line too much it should always lie in between so everything is in balance and always ensure that your colors over here are not all over the place and that they are close to each other as much as possible so I'm gonna pull this down a tad bit more to add more emphasis to my shadows because down at the bottom here is affecting the shadows and blacks within the video the next thing I'm gonna do is go down to hue and saturation now I want my water to look saturated and rich in color so I'm gonna click the eyedropper tool right here on the hue and saturation within the curves and click on a blue section within the water and it will select the blue colors over here and I'm gonna bump the saturation up just a tad bit not too much so the video looks oversaturated so push this one right up a little bit more as well and we're gonna go down to hue versus hue the water looks a little too blue greenish so we want to bring it a little closer to a rich blue color instead of leaning towards the blue greenish even though the water out there was looking a bit blue greenish in reality but we want it to look blue so we're gonna pull this down to blue within that cyan region and if you look there the water is looking bluer than it was before which is lovely now let's go down to color wheels and match once more in our color grading tab and we're gonna pull down the mid-tones just a little bit more we're gonna push our mid-tones right here towards the orange reddish section within the color wheel perfect now for the shadows we're gonna pull this tab a tad bit down a little more pull this knob and we're gonna push the shadows towards the blue direction just a little towards the blue direction lovely and pull the highlights a tad bit down as well and push the highlights towards a yellow slash orange kind of tone nice nice if you guys hear my laptop's fan kicking up please just ignore it uh, it does that sometimes when it's overworked but yeah it's getting the job done now we're gonna go back up to curves and I want the touch on this roof to look a bit more orangish and a tad bit more saturated so I'm gonna click hue and click on the roof right here and I'm gonna click the orange tab red tab and push the red down to a little orange color like right here perfect and then I'm gonna go up to saturation and I'm gonna click on the touch top again and bump the saturation up about right there let me bump up this one as well and perfect lovely now the photo is coming to life let us scroll through from the beginning let's see how it looks so far this is looking lovely lovely now let's look what it looked like before we started the process so you guys can have an idea of what we've done so far this is the flat video that we started with this looks washed out and like an alien video now this is with the conversion lot and our exposure correction added and then this is with our color correction added lovely this is looking stunning now I'm gonna add one more layer of adjustment and this is going to be our creative touch to the final video now I'm gonna go back up to basics and I'm gonna 
push our temperature a little towards the warmer tone because if you look over here it seems as if the sun is slightly setting so there are highlights and reflection on the water so we want that to look yellow to depict sunlight when the sun is setting right there perfect 9.8 let me put it at 9 there you go that looks lovely the next step is to go down to creative and I'm gonna use a lot that is built into Premiere Pro because I kind of like it this one the Fuji Eterna 250D and I'm gonna keep the intensity as is because it looks lovely on the video so the Fuji Eterna looks lovely on the video but I'm gonna turn down the intensity to about 50 lovely look at this video it's looking stunning this video is looking amazing so far and we have a few more touches before we call it quits with this video we're gonna bump the sharpness up to 10 let me type it in 10 for sharpness put the vibrance at around 10 as well and we're gonna put the saturation at 110 nice now this video is looking amazing look at that now to go even further with this video I'm gonna do some creative touches outside of lumetry and color correcting and grading I'm gonna add a shape I've done this before on one of my recent projects for a reel on Instagram and it worked quite well so let's see how it works on this video I'm gonna draw a shape I'm gonna have to come out of color and go to the editing profile I'm gonna change the color of this shape to an orange or yellowish tone that looks too yellow let me go further to orange that's perfect I'm gonna pull over this shape about right here and I'm gonna go to effects and select Gaussian blur drag Gaussian blur to here go to my effects tab and push the blur all the way up to about here nice now I'm gonna change the blend mode of this shape to soft light and it will add the box which was blurred in orange to be reflected on the highlights of the water I'm gonna also turn down the opacity because this looks too much to about 30 now let me scale back to fit and look at that that looks as if the Sun is shining right there it's like giving some light to the reflection in the water from the Sun that's without that's with the shape without with and that looks lovely guys always remember to save as you go along and let let us see where we are coming from so without all our adjustments this is the flat video just flat and desaturated this is with the conversion lot and our exposure adjustments now this is with our color correction this is with our creative touch nice and this is with the color on the water reflection from the Sun this is stunning this is simply amazing a quick commercial break do hit that subscribe button if this video is interesting so far let's continue now I have two other videos that I captured while I was on the trip and let us copy these settings and drag over to these videos as well and see if they work and more than likely they should work because while capturing this video I used the same setting on my drone camera for capturing all the videos so whenever I'm color grading the color correction and grading will be consistent throughout and I don't have to do much tweaking and editing across the videos because the settings were the same throughout recording and as you can see the settings match the next video perfectly the only thing I would move though is the box right here I would put it up here since the Sun is up here and there you go lovely now let's watch these two videos back to back nice 
beautiful, beautiful. I would turn down the highlights on this one a tad bit. It looks too bright right there, so I'd pull down the highlights a little bit and that should fix it, lovely. And then the final clip. Now this one might be tricky because the angle is slightly different. But let's copy it and see how the adjustments look on this one as is so far. And as figured, it looks a bit different. Now let's go ahead and try to fix this one. Now the first thing I want to fix is the exposure. This one is a bit too dark. So let's push up the highlights a bit more, pull up the shadows a bit more, pull up the blacks, pull down the contrast, and that's it for the exposure correction. Now let's go to our color correction. It looks a bit too bright in the highlight side. Pull the shadow down a tad bit more, right there. Perfect, off, on. Now let's go to color correction. I'm gonna go to our curves. And the orange in the roof right here looks too saturated, so let's turn it down a bit. Let's turn it down a tad, perfect. It look, it's looking lovely now. Now let's go to our creative side. That's looking lovely, our color wheels, nice. And then our graphic and push the graphic over a little bit more. And that's lovely. Now let's toggle off all our adjustments. This is what it looked like before. Now this is what it looks like with our adjustments. Now let's watch all three videos back to back and see how they look with the adjustments. Please bear in mind that once you pass your color correction and your exposure correction, the creative aspect of color grading is all up to your liking or the mood or fit you want the video to have. So you're not restricted to following any set protocol when color grading your videos. But do ensure that you correct your videos properly to make your videos appealing to your viewers. I hope you guys learned some tricks and tips on color grading your DJI D-Log videos from watching this video. If you feel inspired and want to go shoot some D-Log videos on your drone now, hit that subscribe button and that like button because I will be posting more videos like these. I'm Siobhan Beckford, stay tuned for more D-Log style.